Hey guys, Tech Control with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to fix this problem where when you're connecting your iPhone to your computer, it says this iPhone is open in another window and you may not see the connection there and not sure why it's giving you that error message and you can't really do anything with your iPhone when you're plugging into your computer. So in order to fix this, a couple things you can do to fix this problem, we'll show you exactly what you need to do. So usually when this happens is that there must be a window that's open or running in the background that you don't see that's connected with your iPhone. But the quickest and the easiest way you can check out and uh, fix this problem is by holding on you. If you have a MacBook, you're gonna hold basically your command and the option, command, option, shift all together. So I'll do, here, as you can see here, command option ship at this side or that side doesn't matter. So you want to hold option command escape here. Option command escape, right? And it will tell you here all the apps that are running. And we need to go ahead and find Finder here. So on a MacBook, on a Finder, but on a PC, you want to find uh, basically close out all the apps that you have open. So here, you can close it out or you can just relaunch it again. So if you do a relaunch, and it'll ask you, do you want to relaunch? And you, you can relaunch, basically, uh, this will allow you to reconnect again. So you wanna do that as a troubleshooting step. So you click on relaunch, and hopefully that error message goes away. Now, if you did that and it's still not working, the next thing to do is close out all the apps that are running on your computer here. Same exact thing when you do the option command escape, where all these apps that you have open, you can just force quit it and equivalently on your PC you can do the same thing just go ahead and force quit the apps and make sure if you want to save data save it first and basically just close them out so they're not running in the background as well as usually apps like the music app the TV app on your MacBook usually connects to your iPhone and they can be trying to sync the data as well so do that as well now after you have done that the same thing that goes on your iPhone I would recommend on your iPhone, if you get a message like this where it says trust this iPhone, you want to trust, make sure that trust happens. Also close out all the apps that are running on your iPhone as well so that there isn't another app trying to sync between your computer, preventing from you to use your Finder or another app. Now, if you're still having the issue, the next thing to do is uh, disconnect your iPhone and do a force restart. So in order to do a force restart on your iPhone, you're going to press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down, and finally hold the side button just like that. Again, that's volume up, followed by volume down, and finally hold that side button just like I am here till the screen goes completely black. And then after that, you should see the Apple logo reappear one more time, and then we'll let go of that button, and we have done a force restart. Now, what force restart does is just basically shutting down the phone completely and reloading, reloading the code. It will not delete any of your personal data, so all of your photos, videos, apps will be safe. Along with that, if you can, go ahead and turn off and turn on your MacBook or your PC by here on a MacBook, you can just go down here, shut down or go into your settings and shut down if you have the newest version or just power it off and then power it back on and then do the connection one more time. Uh, I recommend also check out that connection that you have with the cable. Sometimes these cables, if you're not using the right cable, the connection will also have an issue but generally it shouldn't be the case but you go ahead and reconnect it again and hopefully after you do that, your issue is resolved. Now, if you're still having issues, it's time to go ahead and update your phone by simply going into your settings, general, software update, and see if there's an update available. If it is, it will say download and install the update. Give yourself half an hour to 45 minutes whenever you're doing any sort of updates and make sure your phone is at least 50% or more charged and has a good strong Wi-Fi or cellular data. Along with that, you can also try to update your MacBook by going into the system um, preference and it will tell you if you have an update available by simply clicking on that and then once you click on that uh, you should see there's software updates that are available or in the newer MacBook you can follow the same exact thing by going into your settings general software update and you can also try to update it even after if all these troubleshooting hasn't helped yet and uh, that should be it in terms of fixing your iPhone, having that uh, this iPhone is open in another window after the, all following these, you should be able to use it. And I hope it worked for you. If so please make the like and subscribe, but also if you found a better way to fix the problem, do share with us in the comment section. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.